So hi. So we are going to talk about uh, operating system. What is operating system? The basic concept is like uh, it is between the user and the computer. Okay, so he's an interface guy. So before going into my session, like I want to still up my program, like uh, my programs and company. So our company we are providing internships and in-plan training for the students, and we are conducting workshops also, and we are guiding projects. And if you're looking for any live classes, I'm ready to help you. You can contact me anytime for my live classes. Everything 2D and 3D I'm conducting. I'm specialist in almost 183 technology on all the department like software, electronics, mechanical, all the things. You can contact me anytime and we are ready to help you. Okay, let's move on to the session. So before going ahead, like if you need any courses or internships or any projects online or offline, here is my contact number and my mail ID. You can contact me at any time. So we are there to help you. Okay, so apart from that, so if you're looking for any career guidance, technical support, job related information and supports, or if you're looking for any software development or you need to, you need a website or something like that at very low cost, we are helping. You can contact us. Okay, let's quick on move on to the topic. What is operating system? Let's move on to the initial world, like where the user started using his computer. Okay, so he need to do some process and automations. So that is the first step in the world of technology where the user needs an automated system to do some processing. Instead of a calculator, I want a high end system to do multiple processing and store the data. That's why your computer is created. The user started interacting with the hardware, your CPU or processor. It is very tough because the language which your hardware will understand this guy don't know. Okay, so there is a gap between the user and the hardware. That's where they come up with an assembly language. Assembly language in the sense that it is a hardware related language, processor related language. So I started learning how this processor will understand. And afterwards, I started building the products and my applications based on the hardware which is there, the processor. Okay, that is where the biggest challenge happened. The reason is like uh, this particular language is very, very tough. Okay, so writing the code or understanding it and learning it is very, very tough. So, so that guy is tough for me. So what can you do? We need someone in the middle to take care of both. Okay, to manipulate it. That's where the superb guy comes to the picture. That is our operating system. Okay, operating system is the person who is standing between the user and the computer. And what are things? Hi Venkat, how are you? It is in English. My hardware will understand only zeros and ones. So this operating system will convert my English language into the zeros and ones which your processor or computer will understand. Okay, so the technology is really good now. The thing is like in this operating system, we got two programming so they the one programming which will interact with the hardware, the other programming which will interact with the user. The, with the user, the program is called a shell programming. And with the hardware, they are called as a kernel programming. Okay, so the user is there. My name is Venkat. I want to talk to the operating system via the shell programming. I'll talk like a programming. I'll talk to your operating system. The operating system will talk to the hardware via the kernel programming. This is how two kind of programming comes out of the picture. Okay, so if I want to talk to the operating system, still I need some uh, someone to convert it, right? So obviously my English language into an operating system understandable language, a yeah, high level language, which is done by the compiler and also interpreters. So the scope of the compilers and interpreters is like uh, finding the errors. After fixing the errors, Automatically, it will be converted into a high level language to a machine level language. Some high level language is this is English. Hi, Venkat, how are you? So, your high level language converts to machine level language and it will be given to the operating system. That's why your compiler plays a very important role. Okay, sir, so for that, I want to write the programming, right? So, we need something, some more interesting areas. Okay, before that, I want to talk about the compiler and interpreter once again compiler will see the end so I, I've written almost 20 lines of code read the all the 20 lines of code second line error 10th line error 12th line error okay informed the user but come interpreter second line error fix it then it will traverse 10th line error fix it 
So after fixing it, it will move to the next line to read. The compiler at a shot, it will check the errors and it will tell to you that's compiler. An interpreter will tell only like only if the first error is so it is top to down parsing technique will be there. Only if the top is fixed, it will go to the next. It will go to the next. It will go to the next. Compiler at the shot, it will check here, 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 error is there. Okay, that's why the difference between the compiler and the interpreter. So to write the programming much more better, we need something. We need something, a better option. That's why your editors come to the picture. A notepad or text editors comes to the picture. So why are the editors? Yeah, Turbo C++ program, a yeah, Java IDE, integrated development environment like NetBeans. So you got the text editors. This text editor using this text editors, I'm able to write the code and compile it. The compiler will take care of converting into an operating system understandable language, and which is which will it will interact with the hardware via the kernel programming. This is how your interpreter and compiler comes to the picture and apart from that you got a text editor comes to the picture. This is how your operating system is used to manipulate between the people. Now I got the program, the user is typing a program, computer is called Venkat Khrushchev is a string. I gave a program to the operating system. My compiler will convert into a machine learnable understandable language or assembly programming and it will convert into zeros and ones which your hardware will understand. This is how the conversion is happening. This is how you are working with your computer. Okay, here is the major operating systems available and over here Windows becomes the top number one and the dominating technology and uh, like uh, operating system. We got Linux, Blackberry, Android, Debian, OS X, iOS, BSD, free real-time operating system. We got operating system, multiple types of operating system. We'll see those things in the near future and hope you like uh, learn a lot of things about the operating system. So the entire tutorials of operating system is available in this link and it's given the description also. If you want to contact me, anytime you can contact me at my Insta account, Casio Infotech. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you love this video. If you didn't subscribe to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. And apart from that, just give me a like symbol to this video so that it will really motivate us. Thanks for watching this video. This is Venkat signing off from WikiTiki and Kashu Infotech. Thank you.